one's definitely calling my name. not already go ahead and make yourself a heartwarming cup of tea or coffee grab your coziest of comfy blankets let's enjoy this day together Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Today is the first day of daylight savings and it's got Landon and I all sorts of messed up. We slept in so late this morning, but it's Sunday and it's been one of those wonderful Sundays where yes, we had a lion and then we moseyed our way up to a cafe <laughs> and enjoyed a feast and some heartwarming drinks. And it's one of my favorite things to go to a cafe and set a two hour timer. And two hours is like the perfect amount of time to spend in a cafe. You can draw, you can read, you can journal, enjoy food and a drink, and that's exactly what we did. And now we're at the dog park <laughs> with Monsieur Rue. And we've just noticed a brand new bookstore that we've never visited before. So I think we're gonna pop in there before heading home. And once home, I would love to do a big wardrobe clear out because I feel like we just have no more space in our home. And it's been such a long time since I've done a proper spring clean and I've just been itching to do it ever since the holidays really. And now I finally have time. So that is how I'm going to spend my Sunday. And thank you so much for being here to share it with me. There's Rue. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Look at how happy these two are over here. Oh, are you ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. You got it, Rue! Go ahead, by the tree! Whoops. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Good boy, Rue!
bookstore. It was awesome. Incredible. It was so cozy on the inside. The feeling as soon as you walk in is just amazing. Like very much a Scandinavian uh, yes. design aesthetic, but it's authentic. It's not like it's the not trendy, trendy yes. design. They oh. like, yeah. Even though it's pretty modern, it's also really warm and like welcoming. Oh, and the electric blue bookcases. That was so exciting or so well done. <laughs> I feel like there's not very many book covers that color, so it complemented the books really nicely. And the staff were just incredible and so friendly. And the selection of books, ooh. Very well curated. So good. It was so painful being on my no book buying year and walking <laughs> into that bookstore. It was difficult, but um, I might have found a way around it for this particular time <laughs> because I really want to support a small local bookstore. So I did, they had these uh, candle wick trimmers, which I don't own, so I got one. And then Landon was so kind to buy me a book, which was <laughs> <laughs> Beloved Dog by Maria Kalman. This is my first introduction to Maria Kalman and I, just flipping through this book, I absolutely adore her art and her storytelling and I feel like she's gonna be a really big inspiration for me. I don't know, I just feel really drawn to her work. So, thank you, Len. <laughs> yeah, no problem. What a really happy surprise. That was really spontaneous and fun, so. Totally. The best Sunday. Yeah. like spring I wanted to sort through my candles and get out my spring scents and also this little basket drives me crazy so while we're spring cleaning I wanted to sort through it and organize it because right now it's just a smorgasbord of different things it'll be really nice to see all organized so these are all the candles that I own which I'm not sure if it's a lot or a few um, but I haven't purchased any new candles in a long time. I guess I did buy one candle around autumn. And I tend to favor very warm scents like amber and maple or apple cider donuts, pumpkin maple waffles. This one's called Happiness. It smells like vetiver, I think. And it has no descriptor other than the definition of happiness, which is the state of being happy, good, fortune, pleasure, and contentment. That one will be nice. Ooh, rosewood fig. I love fig scents. And then I also have three literary themed candles. So I have Oscar Wilde, Louisa May Alcott, and Jane Austen. Oscar Wilde is cedarwood, thyme, and basil. It smells very masculine. Jane Austen is gardenia, tuberose, and jasmine. Oh, that's so, so nice. It's exactly the floral scent I was craving for right now. And then Louisa May Alcott is Cherry Blossoms and IEV. Oh, oh, really good. Jane Austen and Louisa May Alcott since smell very similar. These are Paddywax Library candles. So 
these were what I was hoping for. The rest of my candles are very winter and autumn. I also have a ton of pillar candles because I use them to light my early mornings when I'm up before the sun. I just love using candlelight instead of electric lights. They're just, when you turn on the overhead light, it's really bright and jarring and there's something so peaceful about carrying around a candle in the early hours of daylight. And then I have six boxes of incense that my friend gave me. So many. I'm set for years. And some books. These are actually the books and magazines that I've used to press flowers for my specimen frames. This is now the candle and smell good basket. Very satisfying, very organized. Stop the battle within your soul. You know it's all in your head. Being sad doesn't mean you smart it seems your heart just needs a fresh start goodness oh my goodness what are you doing no! oh my goodness <laughs> oh I was so scared for you okay, here comes the real oh our house is a mess oh my goodness you guys no he's like it's a cozy mountain <laughs> yeah that's a good spot good boy root Wow. Okay. So does this mean you guys are going to help me declutter? We're going to go and exercise actually, right? Um, <laughs> give me this. Oh, thanks. Oh. Oh, okay, let's go. <laughs> Good well, luck. <laughs> thank you. That was all. This is quite literally every single article of clothing that I own, including winter coats even. Everything. <laughs> Summer, winter, fall, spring, undies, socks, bras, bathing suits, it's all here. You know, I once considered myself a bit of a minimalist. That's definitely not the case anymore. <laughs> it's such a wake-up call to see 
all of this here. It has been two years since I've decluttered, and I mean, you can see the rest of our bedroom. It's just, it's so dirty. This is extremely overdue, and I'm quite intimidated, but it's going to feel so good to have done. However, I need some food before I tackle this. It's actually dinner time. It's still daylight outside and it's dinner time. That's daylight savings for you. So, dinner first and then declutter. Dinner has been had and was absolutely delicious. I've made myself a steaming cup of peppermint tea and I decided that I wanted to play a movie in the background while I decluttered my wardrobe. Something upbeat and comforting and familiar because I didn't want to be distracted by it. So I've had a look at the different movie streaming platforms and I've decided on The Parent Trap, the Lindsay Lohan version on Disney Plus. I'm gonna play that in the background. It's summer camp vibes. I know we're just at the beginning of spring, but it's so fun and so uplifting and is exactly the kind of company that I'm looking for while I declutter. Um, it occurred to me, this is the first video all year in which I've worn short sleeves because it's just been so cold. I've had to wear sweaters all year long, which isn't a bad thing. However, guys, I have a secret and it's that I got a tattoo. <laughs> I got a tattoo. I'm gonna set you guys down because I want to share the story with you. Okay, so it's the sunshine, it's the sun. Could also be a sunflower and I love that ambiguity. I have wanted this tattoo for well over a year and anytime I thought about getting it, I was torn up over where exactly to get it. And finally, I just decided to go for it. But once at the tattoo parlor, I was having like, <laughs> I don't know, I was panicking. Just so, so nervous and so scared and just really, really close to bailing on the tattoo. And I turned to my friends and I was like, oh my goodness, I'm so nervous. And they said, don't worry, it's not going to hurt that bad. To which I responded, I hadn't even thought about it hurting. <laughs> like it hadn't even crossed my mind that it would be painful. In that moment, I realized that the only thing that I was scared of was other people's opinion of me. At that point, I didn't have any tattoos and I know that um, some people aren't very accepting of them and they can be quite unprofessional. And I just worried about what people would think. And when I realized that that was what I was afraid of, I decided that I absolutely had to get the tattoo and it had to be somewhere visible. So I did it. <laughs> I did it. There it is. And it has so many different meanings to me, but the strongest of which is a reminder to shine as brightly as I possibly can like the sun and not hide from myself and not worry about what other people think. Shine, take up space, be a light, be warm, be bright, be comforting. Channel my inner sunshine. And then another relevant meaning is um, a symbol of the Society of Sunbeams and Happenstance, which is my Patreon community, where sunbeams all over the world connected through our love of books and coziness and general friendship at this point. I love to imagine us all shining our light throughout the world. So it's my little secret society of sunbeams and now I have a sunbeam tattoo. <laughs> so there's that surprise. I absolutely love the tattoo. It makes me so incredibly happy. And like I said, I've been wearing long sleeves all year and so I haven't actually really seen it that much myself and I'm surprised and delighted every time I do happen to see it. So yeah, that was a wild thing that I did at the start of this year. Thank you so much to all my sunbeams. And also thank you so much to this huge community in general for supporting me and encouraging me to shine my light as brightly as possible. Your presence here, you spending your time with me through my videos is such a hug. It's so encouraging and really, really, truly helps me to be who I am and to shine a bit brighter. It's all in our hands.
runs this life of time that's given to us all. It gathers round each night, each morn. We watch it pass and grow. It is all in our hands. It is all in our Honestly, I can't really even tell a difference. <laughs> but, you know, it's sorted and organized and I have quite the impressive sweater collection. I just love sweaters. I know it might not look like I decluttered very much, but this is my giveaway pile. That's a mountain. <laughs> I don't know how it looks this full still. I mean, I did sort through literally every single bin, and they are all organized. It's so satisfying. So, those are just regular shirts. These are like blankets and warm scarves. Oh! <laughs> I have some pajamas. My socks. These are the undies. And then in here. <laughs> Mo inspired me. <laughs> Good. These are all my coats and jackets and believe it or not, I did get rid of a few of them. And then I also have workout t-shirts, leggings and shorts, as well as other scarves and hats. And then all my spring and summer clothes are up here. I also finished sorting everything at the exact ending of Parent Trap. So it didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would and I'm pleased at having finished it within the duration of the movie. Great decluttering company. And then Landon joined me. Oi! <laughs> so it feels like a breath of fresh air to have that all sorted. Um, I do still have this to tackle, but I think I'll tackle that tomorrow. And just cozy up with a good book and Landon for the rest of the night.